So I think there's two things that make it unusual now. One is that we're around. So this, the, the level of CO2 we're at now, which is around about 400 parts a million, is 120 parts a million higher than it was when we started to emit. Much, much higher than, than we've experienced in human, in the existence of humans on Earth. And much larger than, than we've had a CO2 concentration on Earth in the last million years and probably much longer. So it has been higher in the past. I mean, the dinosaurs would have had much higher CO2. And prior to that, even higher still. But not when we've been on Earth. And the second thing about global warming is, it, although it's not, it's not yet very large compared to geological changes, it's very, very fast. The, the changes we, we can detect from the geological record and from ice cores are often bigger, but they are much slower. And the issue about that is that complex systems like, uh, like the climate system or like people or like ecosystems can adapt, but they need time to do it. So if you push them fast, there's a danger they don't adapt. So I think it's the, um, the rate of change really that's the key, the key unusual thing about this period. We don't know for sure whether this is the fastest in history, because of course, when you go back in time, the records tend to be more coarse. But the nearest to it was a period in the, um, uh, called the late Paleocene Thermal Maximum, about 55 million years ago, when the climate appears to have warmed by something like six degrees, probably in thousands of years. And we're going, we're in danger of doing six degrees in around about 100. So it's possible it's been faster. It's unlikely. But I think as scientists, we want to um, see that the politicians have taken the science seriously. And uh, that, although I mentioned, you know, there are some unknowns in climate science, there, there is much that is known 